Yes, welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on a very early Sunday here in Melbourne. Of course, so let's go across to our friends over in the US and we're heading to Jersey City in New Jersey and of course uh, speak with the St. Peter's uh, women's basketball team and of course we've got two very special guests to us right now to tell us a bit about how it's been like in the preparation towards their uh, first game uh, coming up in, uh, well, actually might be next week. And, of course, uh, we've got two very special guests now. Thanks both for joining us. Hi. Thank Hi. you for having us. Thank you. Victoria, by the way. And I'm Benta. <laughs> How's the preparations like heading towards uh, the first game next week? We've been practising every day, of course. Um we're all excited. Like, we're just ready to get into it. It's been a very long preseason, so we're just ready to get into it. Yeah, like, uh, we've been doing summer. We've been training in the summer, so it's been a pretty good preparation, probably better than last season. And we're all looking forward to it with a whole new team as well. So it's pretty exciting for next week, yeah. Are you, have you been, I guess, counting down the days to that first game? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Like, it's been a long time coming, if anything, yeah. Five days. Yeah, five days. So we're almost there. <laughs> Any expectations on the team heading towards uh, this 21-22 season? I feel like we have a fresh team. We have a couple new people. And obviously we made the championship game last season. So I don't see why we couldn't yeah, do it again. We can, we can do it again. Again this Hopefully year. Hopefully win it. Yeah. How much of a motivation was last year's championship game to uh, go back to it and obviously win it all? Huge. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. like, because now we know we can do it. So if anything, even more now, we know like we're capable of, of making it. Tell us a bit about your coaches um, and what have you learned from them throughout uh, your time over there at St. Peter's? I reckon coaching style is honestly very different. Very different. In my opinion. Um, but I like it, honestly. They're much more on you and... You know, just wanting the absolute best out of every individual person. So, obviously, your coach is always going to be on you, but I like it that way because, you know, you're always trying your best. Absolutely. Like, I think it took me some getting used to. Cause been to she was, she's was she been here. So, I came in my freshman year. She was the junior year. Mm-hmm. So, it, it took me some use to. It was, was kind of, like, brutal, but I, I like it too because they, they keep you accountable and you just have to go with it and then, should be good. So, I guess during this um, pandemic uh, at the moment, um, have both of you returned back home um, during your summer or have you both you made, managed to stay um, in the New York, New Jersey area? I went home two summers ago, but the last summer I stayed in Jersey City. And last summer, I yeah, I was able to go home, but I had to do two-week quarantine when I landed there. And then, yeah, I came back here. Right to the championship game. What did you learn from that game um, that you can take into this season? Probably the level up of intensity and the physicality when it's a championship game. It's like no one's playing around. Like we're here to get to the tournament. Like you can't go in and just have an off day. And I think our team, we didn't play our best game at all. It's not like we went out on a loss on our best game. So... We didn't have a great game and, you know, that's why we didn't win. So, you know, everyone has to show up. Everyone has to be on point. So we're taking that into next season. Yeah, almost like you can't really take anything for granted. Like, especially when it comes to the championship game, you got to make sure everything is perfect almost. Like the pressure is on. Let's talk a bit about both your basketball journeys. Where did it all start and why did you choose it? Me, my mum forced me to play basketball. <laughs> really? Because, well, like, I'm an only child, so she's like, you need friends. You need to be around people. <laughs> so I was like, no, because I was a very shy kid. I was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to. But as soon as I got there, like, I fell in love with it and haven't looked back since. Uh, for me, yeah, I was kind of the same. I was playing netball first, like, straight into high school, and then... My siblings were playing basketball as well, and it was too much fun to, like, I mean, netball and then basketball. So she was like, you might as well just play basketball. And I, I didn't like it. I was just, like, tall and lanky. I didn't, you know, couldn't control my body. But I got used to it, and I actually um, got good in it, and I liked it. Um, 
and I don't know, like everything seemed to happen the way it is and now I'm here. What position do you both you play on the court? And you, you, if you had a preferred position, we you love to convince your coaches to put you, where would that be? I play centre forward, but I'd rather play forward. I'm a true point guard. I'll always be a point guard. Like, I can't play anything else. <laughs> so. <laughs> and what will be some highlights throughout both your basketball journeys so far? Mine is just coming over here, honestly. Like, when I was, like, eight years old and I just started, if you would have told me I'd be playing on the other side of the world, getting an education, I never would have even thought that would be possible. So, definitely just coming over here. I've had, like, a long journey in America. I played junior college, so that was a complete experience in itself. But I actually loved it. I loved the route that I took. So, that's my favourite thing. Uh, For me, it would probably definitely be, um, if it wasn't for coming here, yeah, that's, like... a major achievement because I, I feel like I was kind of like a late bloom. I started playing basketball when I was like 12. So I, I never expected to be here. But I think also um, like I'm, I made the state team like in the last and like my last year of junior basketball. So that was like mm. a really good thing for me. Now you might as well give your local basketball associations back home a bit of a shout out and how important they've been. Shout out to the Penrith Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I played for. Um, yeah, they were a big part of my development, obviously. Um, learned all my skills there, at, like Aussie Hoops. I don't know if it's still called that. But yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, that's where I learned to play. <laughs> um, so I actually played for two clubs. Um, I started at Craigieburn Eagles. And I, I actually met you when I was in, like, under 16s, I think. Do you remember? Correct, Correct. yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Craigieburn <laughs> Eagles, I definitely, like, um, I love them and they, they always be home to me. But yeah, um, shout out to Kilo Thunder because they're, they're like my, they really helped me with my development and like getting serious about basketball. So yeah, shout out to them too. <laughs> what does the sport of basketball mean to both you and especially being there at St. Peter's? I feel like it's honestly like opened this door up for me for a completely new experience and a different way of life. Like without basketball, I literally wouldn't be here. I would still be back home in Sydney, like, I don't know where I would be, honestly. Um, Basketball has, like, helped me through my whole life. Like, if any, if I'm ever struggling, I always turn to basketball and it's just kind of, like, an escape from everything. And it's, like, something that I know, like, I can always build on. I'm always getting better. It's always something to focus on because, like, you're never going to be, like, the best version of yourself. You can always grow. So, I like that. That's good. (laughs) But for me, basketball is more um, something that um, I can make my family proud of. Uh, like when I play, I represent them because I have a big family. So I'm always representing them wherever I go. And I love to make my family proud, especially my dad. Like it, um, I think it's something that we both bond over. Uh, and it was something that's so unexpected, but it's been a blessing in disguise. So I'm very grateful for it. And yeah, it's definitely opened up many opportunities for me. This is your senior year. Uh, this year um, there at St. Peter's. Now, obviously, you do have an extra year if you choose to. Are you going to be taking that fifth year? I'm definitely, like, still making the decision. So the season hasn't even started yet. I want to kind of get into the season, see how things are going. Um, Obviously, I really want to make that championship game again and win it. So we'll see how it all unfolds and, like, whether I want to take the extra year. Because if I leave not satisfied, then I'll definitely be like, no, I want want another shot at it. And how special is to play with each other on the same team? I think that every year I've been in college, my three different schools, I've had an Australian on the team and it helps so much. Like, honestly, like, Having just someone from home, even just hearing the accent every day, it's just like, okay, I'm not in this alone. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because definitely since it was like my first time away from home and being able to talk to Binta and we both had the same, like, like we, we knew how, how each other were because we just were from the same place, like we're from Australia. So um, if it definitely was like a kind of home sense. So talking to her definitely helped me to like remember where I'm from despite, like, all the other personalities around me. Uh, do either of you have a short and long-term goals in the sport of basketball? My sh- short-term goal would just be to get to the championship and win it and, like, 
just go out if I do finish this next season, just go out knowing I left everything on the floor every single game and I did my absolute best. Mm, I would say my short term goal would be to like make a major impact on the team more than I did than I did before, like in last season. Um, and also probably long term. I'm not quite sure, but I would Sorry, like to. I'm still not sure about that. But I would like to um, maybe play for New Zealand one day because I I'm I was born in New Zealand, so I'd like to play for yeah for the tall friends one day. Be your advice to people back home that should get involved in basketball, especially in your both your local uh, associations back home. Definitely, just go to your local association and join a club team. See how you like it. Honestly, I've made so many lifelong friends from basketball and that's what got it for me. Like, cause I would see these people every time I go and it's like, you look forward to going. So it's just like, and then from there, obviously if you're good, it helps, but you know, keep practicing, work on yourself, get in the gym. I think like not as many, it wasn't a huge mentality for my local program to be in the gym every single day. Over in America, it's so much different. Like everyone's always having to consistently work to stay competitive in the game. So if you want to get ahead, um, obviously just get into the gym and shoot every day. Um, yeah, so and I would, I would agree. I would say you really don't know unless you try. Like you mm -hmm. really don't know what you're capable of until you do it. Um, and most of the time you probably will end up like surprising yourself. Um, and along with that, don't really focus on other people's journeys, like focus on yourself. And while you work on yourself, you, you'll surprise yourself. You never know what you, you can do. Are both of you hoping once you've done with college to like come home and play, um, you know, maybe NBL one, obviously Kilo's now in NBL one um, this year. And, uh, and obviously, uh, for you've been to that, I uh, was at Penrith was in NBL one as well. Um, is that also the plan when you come home, like long term? For me, I haven't completely decided what my long term plans are revolving around basketball. Um, I'm just letting life take take me where it takes me, but that's definitely okay. an option for me. I would definitely enjoy doing that, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, right now, I would say, yeah, I would love to, but then again, I'm only like a sophomore, so mm. maybe after four years, I wouldn't know. Yeah, let's finish up with a couple of lighthearted questions about your teammates uh, there at St. Peter's. Uh, firstly, who had the most embarrassing moment during pre-season slash practice? There was one time we our coach, though. He fell over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, <laughs> Coach Mitchell thinks that he has to go extremely hard on me in every drill. Like, he'll be, like, playing defense, like, playing defense, like, real easy that I'm next in line. He wants to get all, like, oh, like serious. <laughs> and he actually tripped. And I was like... But it was, like... like <laughs> fell on the floor. And I was like, oh. But we couldn't... I didn't want to laugh because it would get mad. But I had to turn around. <laughs> yeah, It no. was more like... Second-hand embarrassment. Yeah, Are you definitely. okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I can't think of any bright teammates, though. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Have you ever asked why you guys hard on you, Peter? Oh, it's just a given. He like, always does. <laughs> like, it's just a given. Like, very hard on point guards. I've heard from, like, yeah. previous people that have been here longer than me. He's just, like, always more hard on the point guards. Okay. Who's the comedian, the best singer, the best dance on the team? Yeah, the comedian on our team would be like Imani. <laughs> <laughs> Imani or, or Kayla, I would say. They're, they're two of our freshmen and they're like really goofy. The best <laughs> singer on the dance, I mean, singer on the two. I don't know no, if anyone can yeah, sing. Yeah, I don't think anybody can sing. We all try to, but... Like, and the best dance would be me. Yeah, Vic would say that. It would be her. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Vic to just uh, answer my next question, which was, uh, who's into their TikToks and is anyone TikTok famous? I think we're all trying to get TikTok famous. I don't have TikTok. Uh, yes. <laughs> I've well done. done a TikTok. 
And I'm always dragged into these dances and I don't know what I'm doing. But Vic, <laughs> I think Vic went viral. Because I posted a, a TikTok <laughs> of like our team and it has like almost 15,000 views on TikTok. Yeah. Um, Rachel also does TikToks. Imani is trying to get TikTok famous as well. I think it's more just like like a, a team body thing. Like we just like to make TikToks with each other. It's just fun. Always us. Um, these next three questions to any Aussie players we have uh, on the show that are currently over in the US. The first one is, have you convinced any teammates to come back with both of you to Sydney and Melbourne to visit both of you? So many people say that they would love to come. Like, I know really? Kendria says she wants to come to Australia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, My roommate, um, Taylor, who's also our teammate, she would love to come over. I think it. Yeah, most of my roommates most people would love, would to, love come. to come back to Australia. It's just so far. Yeah. I don't know if anyone can sit on the plane for that long. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> my next one is, uh, how's the Aussie accent going around your teammates uh, there at St. Peter's? They love we get to, made fun of. Yeah, they love, <laughs> they love to mimic and tease it and mock it. But really, I think I feel like they just, they just wish they were us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sometimes they can't end when we say, and we have to repeat ourselves, and then we just it just it's like just never mind. Yeah, just never mind. Don't For, worry. Forget I even said anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you convinced any of teammates there that we have kangaroos as pets? Well, if we I said don't know. That, I don't know if you live. I mean, if you've seen Penrith, but it's kind of like suburban with like some yes. grass stuff. There actually are kangaroos like down the road. So yes. I think Oh my god, so it's true. Like, yeah, for me it actually is kind of true. Like they're like <laughs> probably like a kilometer down the road. So yeah. If I feel like if we if we said that they would believe us or like we we, we ride a kangaroo to school or something. They, <laughs> they don't know anything. They have no idea. <laughs> or we said like like we eat spiders, yeah, they would know it's like, oh wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um so I'll reverse the next question then, which is, uh, how's the American accent going for both of you? People that I've known for like four years being in America say that I have lost my Australian accent. I don't think so. Oh. I, don't I don't think I have personally, but I guess like it comes out more when I'm around Australian people. Like when I'm on the phone to my mum, it's just like, I must sound more Australian because when I'm around like American people, they're like, I don't really notice the accent on you. Like my teammates now, like Sky has said that. A couple of people have said like, I don't even notice your accent being tough. I so. think I think we more just pick up on the American slang. Yeah. Some of the words that we use otherwise, it sounds weird. So we're just like accustomed to the, to the slang. We'll finish with these last two. Um, do either of you have a pre-game superstition or ritual? Actually, yeah. So, like, I was in junior college my second year. Um, I always cramped because I was playing, like, 40 minutes a game for that team. So I always cramped and I would take these little, like, my coach was like, you need to get these magnesium pills. Like, you can't play without these. So he, like, he got these magnesium pills. And now I definitely don't need them. But now, like, before every game, I'll take magnesium because I'm like, yeah, I need okay. this. Okay. I'm good. Yeah. I just gotta make sure I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, I don't really have like a. I mean, it would be it would be nice to, but sometimes if I do like the same thing and then I have a bad yeah. game, and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna change it up. So it's always like changing. I was like both you. I was a um, being seniors and sophomores um, over there. Is there a particular hot other than the championship game? Um, is there a particular game for both of you that um, that stands out throughout your time so far over at St. Peter's, other than the championship game? Yeah, for me, um, when we beat Marist, because that team, obviously that's who we versed in the championship game. Um, when we beat them previous to that, I think that was probably the highlight because we really, really wanted that game. Like... Mm -hmm. We, our preparation for it was, like, more than any other game. Yeah. Like, we were super locked in. And, like, I think we all knew on that day, like, yeah, we're really, like, we really want to get this one. And then 
just beating them just felt like okay like once we beat them I feel like we can we can really beat anyone anybody in this company. No, I'll, I'll totally agree it was definitely a Maris game like we were all it was like it was like a whole we were all really deeply into the game like whoever was playing whoever was on the bench we were all like so invested into winning and when we finally won I, like we were all just so happy because like and it's not like that we were surprised like we knew we worked hard enough to beat them Effie, thank you so much for getting up your time to join us. Uh, best best of luck going into the 21-22 season, which starts in five days' time. And uh, and let's hope it all goes well. Hopefully you can uh, go all the way back to the championship game and uh, go that one step further uh, in the 21-22 season. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. And have a good night. <laughs> No worries. And that's uh, Binto Victoria. They're joining us from the St. Peter's uh, women's basketball team. We'll put uh, this their team schedule of games uh, coming up. So, uh, of course, you can follow their progress throughout the 21-22 season. There's more on the Smashboard show right after this. Don't go away here on the 10th year celebration.